This video will cover if conditions using a simple example that presses to a defined force. If conditions will be used to check force and to check position. In the command table, the first command used will be the VAI deceleration equals acceleration go to position with max current. The target position will be 60 millimeters with the max velocity of 0.05 and acceleration of 2 and the maximum current is set to 1.225 amps, which results in a force of 25 newtons. To check if there is something to press against, an if statement is needed to monitor current. In the conditions category, find the motion command type if current greater than. The command value will be set to 0.8 amps. If this condition is true, the motor will press with 25 newtons of force for 2 seconds. If it is false, the position will be checked. No operation is added to end this loop. Under conditions, look for the motion command if actual position greater than. The command value will be set to 53 millimeters. If the motor moves past 53 millimeters, it will retract. If it does not, the current will be checked again. Since the motor needs to press for 2 seconds, a 2000 millisecond wait time is inserted. The same command to extend is also used for the retraction. This time the target position is 0, the max velocity is 0.5, acceleration is 10, and the current is 4. To end the sequence, the condition wait until motion finished is added. Now the changes in the command table can be downloaded to the drive. Now go to the control panel and restart the firmware. Now that the firmware restarted, the drive can be enabled and homing can begin. In the motion command interface, use the command type start command table command, then set the value to 1. Send the command. Then notice that the motor extends to 53 millimeters and then retracts since there's nothing to press against. When there is something to press against, the motor extends, presses and holds for two seconds, and then retracts. Thank you for watching Linmot Tutorials.